I think what it is is you look at a girl like Kiana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this one off just about Abby. Technically, two house. Okay, next person we're going to do is me, a supporter of Crochet. PGC Squash for her beauty with a booty into white, y'all. Oh, I have my best friend in a video. Uh, we haven't did one of these since like technically two house. We really could have videos like this all the time because we do be kicking it. We do. We, we do. talk about this. Yeah, all the time. We always. Yeah. Talk about this. I would literally leave Valley downstairs to go upstairs to go to sleep yeah, no, and text her yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I always just get over here and go to sleep. Period. Okay, period. I fell asleep on the trampoline yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let y'all introduce yourselves still, just I'm for the new that. people that's coming because we always got new people with new faces. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty girl Chaz. Welcome to my channel. And then we have I'm oh <laughs> I am also Ali Ali from Robin Ellie from also family. Check us out. Mm -hmm. I'm Princess Leia, the one and only princess. <laughs> from Princess and Flo. Also, you know, Princess Leia, yeah, the realest. Yeah, mm. period. Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> So I wanted to come up with a concept that was different than what y'all seen. So something that I'm coming up with is rating or giving my honest review or giving a review on a YouTubers. This time we're going to be doing female YouTubers and the next time I do male YouTubers and so on and so on. Mm. Right. We're going to be doing female YouTubers that we personally have conversation or hello or greet over case maybe. But y'all already know, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and the channel everything be in the description box down below. Leave those unicorns and without further ado, let's get straight into this video. My P-G-C squad. Okay, y'all, so the first person we gonna start on the list is, can I get a little drum roll? <laughs> Mimi the Great. The greatest. Okay, my Cute. baby. Oh, mm. Mimi. This is why I say, I feel Mimi is truly the underdog. And why I say the underdog, because my girl is so talented. She does it all. She does modeling. She's a great person. She can cook her ass off. Shout out to the Golden Ooh, Spoon. Yes, girl. My girl does it all. And on top of that, she's a really good entertainer overall. Like, She's good with her content. Like when Nene came onto the scene, she shook the world. And when my friend get back to the side of YouTube, cause she's still handling business, but when my friend get back to the side of YouTube, it's really gonna shake the world. And we just miss you, baby. But she's a good soul. She's a sweet person, but Nene is not the one to be with. Not at all. Not at all. That baby from Fifth Ward, she don't play. <laughs> she does not play. Well, my experience with Nene is I just like, well, from the jump, number one thing that stuck out to me was like, she's so friendly and like welcoming to everybody. Like she's not about to like just look at you and like judge you or anything. Like she's so sweet. Mm -hmm. But also like when I started like following, we follow each other and stuff, like what stuck out is she was really into God. Oh, I love that. I'm on a spiritual yeah. journey, like beginning it. And I was just like, wow. Like, it was nice yeah. to, it's, it's always nice to see other people, especially your age and what you're doing, mm -hmm. care about God and stuff. So yeah. it was, that, that really stuck out to me. Aww. And um, like you said, she's not gonna be playing with it. Period. No, no, no. She's, Actually, a hilarious comedian, but she can switch it fast and be like, um, no, "Okay, I'm serious as fuck right now." Like, <laughs> she's a firecracker. <laughs> I love it. It's a perfect balance. So, I actually, I had the opportunity to work with Nini before, and I loved working with her. Um, my first time meeting her was when um, Kiana had a production, and we both was there. But aside from that, me and Nini did both lose somebody very important in our lives. And honestly, we have been in contact ever since. That's kind of like what's been bonding us together. And it's so crazy because she actually texted me today. So I'm going I'm to share with y'all what she texted me. And it was so pretty because I'm like, oh my God. She's a sweetheart. She said, hey, princess, just wanted to send some love your way. I know if nobody else knows how this grieving process is, I'm proud of you for still getting on camera. You motivated me. I haven't even been posting like Chad said. I pray you are filled with the Holy Spirit and God continues to grant you peace. I love you and wish you a great rest of the day week, month, and year. So that really touched me because it's like, I, if I'm motivating her, like I'm touching her in some yeah. kind of way, but she, little does she know she's doing the same for me. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a blessing to know that it's still genuine people in this industry mm -hmm. like this. So Mimi, she get a 10 from me, period. Not a 10. 10 for sure. Okay, next person we're going to do is me. I mean, she just super, seems super like chill, chill vibes. Um, she was good energy, always like, I think I was probably around when it was like partying, maybe clubbing or something. But always seemed like good vibes and chill. I mean, I'm sure she has a whole other side that I don't, I can't speak on because I don't know. But she just seemed really chill. I've had the opportunity to meet Nick on a few different occasions. Um, I think one time we were at the strip club and like at some point the strip club actually closes down, like the bar or whatever. And they didn't have like no more liquor or something like that. But we had a bunch of liquor in our section. So Flo actually Flo actually met her before I did because he had some connection with King. So like he invited her over to the section and her and Kobe. Yeah, they all they came over there and they turned up with us, whatever. They drank liquor and stuff. And then 
From there, I think I met her at Kiana's party. We party, she poured up shots. Now, one thing about Nick, she's a party girl, and I love that. Like, you ain't not, you're not not about to get drunk around her, okay? Not she's gonna pour you a shot, like, and it's been like that. She's always like that turn up spirit, like, good, like, I love her energy. From what I've noticed, just like being around her the few times that I have, like she said, if you're around her, She's not only gonna pour you a shot, she's gonna pour it in your mouth. Yeah, she's gonna make you. She's gonna make you take that shot. She's gonna make sure that everybody around her is having a good time. But what I do notice is it'll be times where it look like she'll just kind of sit back and just watch the fun and observe. Yeah, exactly. observe. And yep. she gives me like, all right, once my social media is running out, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. She's I'm being done. a cut though. Yeah, she's being a cut. Yeah. Yeah. She minds her business. Mm -hmm. She take care of her kids. You know, do what she do, but she's. Mm -hmm. She seemed like she's a cool person. She seemed like she has a nice heart, and she looked like she definitely turned up on a bitch. Definitely. For sure. I'll watch them. I'll watch Louisiana, so okay, I'll I'll watch the Louisiana, sorry. Okay, I was about to say, I'll watch them old pranks, baby. That BR was definitely coming out of the <laughs> bitches, so I'll give her a 10 as well. Next person. We had this. So, y'all know Big Kiki Sakia? I met her before in Atlanta. Okay. So, that's where I met her, Atlanta. Her and Sakia. I'm gonna actually do them together. Biki and Sakia, to me, they remind me so much of myself because it's so much high energy, yes. positive vibes. When I met them, I was going through a really hard time at that point in Atlanta. They didn't even know me. They're just like, we got an Airbnb, let's run up some content. I go over there and we just like getting loose. I brought a bottle, I brought a hookah. It was me and Yanni. And they was just like, y'all can stay here. Y'all ain't gotta go back. Like, they had that energy like, girl, if you fucking with us and we fucking with you, you good. Like, like we, yeah, yeah, we got you. Their energy is pure. And I just like the fact that they can be themselves. Like, not trying to be what a, a typical influencer is supposed to be. And yeah. I feel like because of that, they are so fucking successful. They are so authentically themselves y'all so you took Teron bitch but okay because I know Teron gonna call me bitch why the fuck you ain't put me in the video <laughs> yes I met them in Atlanta this is when me and Flo actually first started YouTube we had went to a um I don't know if y'all know Robbie World but he had like an influencer or event um and being since the kid was there and I met them they was turned they walked in turned lit and that was the first time I met them um, and from there, like I just followed them on social media or whatever, and their content was just always lit to me. So yeah. So the next person I got is Abby. So I just wanna, I'm gonna start this one off just about Abby. And there was this assumption that Abby, she's extra all of a sudden and shit like that. I wanna clear this up. Before I came into YouTube, I watched YouTube. That's why I wanted to do YouTube. And one of the people that I used to watch was Abby. Abby always been on her shit. Always did the color wigs. Always did the bomb ass makeup. Always decked the fuck out of her apartments. Like when she did her little room tour in her old apartment that she had when she was in LA, that bitch was decked out, wallpaper everywhere. She always had a bold personality, so. And she's really humble. In this industry, once again, it's hard to find people like that. She has a really kind heart. She plays a lot, she has fun, she laughs, she invites you to places. Like she talks some real shit. Like she even told me some real shit before. Like she's a really kind and sweet soul, so. so. Shout out to Abby, you know, and you a bad bitch, okay. period. Yeah. And you a air sign too, so yeah, extra period on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I know Abby too, and she <laughs> is, I'm saying right now, a, a 12 out of 10. Period. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. she is just so, such like a sweetheart. And like you said, I couldn't see like them saying all of a sudden she's extra or whatever now. Because I remember when I first got introduced to her when, I think it was like you were there, maybe, I don't know. But I didn't, I didn't watch YouTube before I did YouTube, mm -hmm. so I didn't know people. But I got introduced to her and we started following each other and I seen her on her Instagram page. She was doing like the color stuff. Do like everything was matching the color. She was like she was always extra and it fit her and it's it's literally her, so that's crazy. But no, she did have a conversation with me and Rob when I first around the first time I met and it was like real, real shit. And it was like really easy to talk to her. She's very welcoming and like you said, humble for sure. And um yeah, she just, mm -hmm. I really enjoy being around her. She's always good vibes. Even if you talk to her through a text message or a message, like, mm -hmm. she's always good vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, and she can rap. Good as hell. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, because let's talk about it. Bitch, she checking out motherfucking checkers. Yeah. yeah. I period. can't wait for her to take off with that. Um, so I met Abby. I actually enjoyed her, like, presence. Period. Um, we worked together on Kiana Show Daddies. Mm -hmm. But before that, Chaz did show me Abby before, because we watch a lot of old YouTube videos, because like, like Ali said, I never watched YouTube before this. I just kind of jumped into it. It was a couple that I watched. Abby definitely like caught my attention. I feel like she definitely is getting into her grown woman vibe. Yeah. And I feel like when it, when, when it comes to black women that, that kind of gets into that, a lot of people are like, oh, she extra. She oh, wait, 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 speak like, on it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, it's not 
even just black women. It's darker tone women. Oh, it's darker boom. tone women. Because yeah. I feel like the moment a darker tone woman we step into it's that confidence that they yeah. just cannot stand. Like, I'm telling you, it's that confidence, and it's so sickening. But ever since like I've seen her, I've seen her progress from like from what you know Chad showed me until now, and I'm like. This is a bad bitch. Like she's really in her prime right now. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Like it's really just calm. Like she's confident. yeah, she's confident yeah, as fuck. Confident and, yeah, and she's very talented. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I just hate when people try to put a bitch down whenever you know a bitch is really in her bag. Like yeah. leave her alone. That girl doing what she doing. She ain't trying to be like nobody. She her own person. She her own woman. Like mm -hmm. that's just what it is. And it's very rare that you find bitches like that. Mm -hmm. So so the next person we are going to do is motherfucking Lex. Ooh. amazing Lex is yes. great. she's a great friend she's so she's very obviously rough everybody knows that mm -hmm. she's rough but she's also still calm mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like welcoming and when you get to know her on a different level it's like she's a great friend and she's a great mother mm -hmm. she loves them babies and mm -hmm. she just no matter what will do everything for the babies and I relate to her on that so much like me and her because we're both mothers obviously mm -hmm. yeah and y'all both was boy moms too yeah and, and they're both were like the same age they're like only a couple that's so months, cute but, I love those little boys yeah I know and she just I just love her hard work like she motivates me a lot mm -hmm. like when I see her doing stuff especially like if I think it's hard with my kids I'm like she's doing it with that girl friends. knows she can she's work she's been doing it with twins we met her in the two house she brought the babies she like, brought the she, babies in here and she said I'm gonna get to work yeah <laughs> yeah like she I just I love her dedication for real and and I know she's gonna be and they're oh my god her I, I said they're because Jack too but like Lex they their minds for like this YouTube stuff and videos like they need Crazy. to be on Netflix they need to be doing production for real like Crazy. she individually we're talking about girls right now she is great at mm -hmm. this YouTube stuff Period. yes um I think everybody needs a friend like Lex I'm sorry <laughs> I mean, I think Chad's crazy sometimes. I be crazy. <laughs> we all got our crazy times, but Lex, honestly, you never know what you're gonna get. You with never that. know. <laughs> um, I've been through some stuff with Lex, and not not like personal, like bad stuff, me and her against each other. But like, I've been through some things where it's like, okay, I can really see Lex. That's just like my little sis. You know what I'm saying? Like, she know I got her. I know she got me for whatever. But also, what Allie was saying, like, she's very inspired when it comes to this YouTube stuff because she's so passionate about it. And like, I feel like her talent is unmatched, bro. Yeah. Like. You don't see stuff like that every day. No. Nope. Yeah. She really needs yeah. to be out here doing that shit. For yeah. real. So this is what I'm going to say about Lex. Lex, first of all, Lex is Virgo. And oh, I really yeah. feel like Virgos, Virgos are what y'all think Geminis are. <laughs> no, for <laughs> Literally. real. For real. I feel like with Lex, the thing is, she's like a Sour Patch Kid. When you see, <laughs> no, listen. When you see her, you think it's sour. But when you actually meet and talk to Lex, or just watch her and watch how she move with people, watch how she move her kids, she's a she's really a sweet. She's yeah. sweet in the inside. But I think the issue that people have, or maybe might be a misconception of the case, maybe is people can't take Lex because Lex don't take no shit. Yeah. She's hard about her creativity. She don't play about her kids, and she don't play about her work. Oh, Lex, the type of girl, she and her ass could have went to the moon and did a video up there. I swear. <laughs> Like you know, her doing these public experiments, y'all. She's the sweetest, and she is the life of a party. Let's no, know. Yes, walk in, and be like, hey, what's up, baby? Hey. At my birthday party, um, <laughs> they did a surprise birthday party. Oh my god, my bitch is so good. And they did a surprise birthday. And Lex was the first person I seen. I was never expecting. She was the first person that popped up out of the dark. She, what's up? <laughs> Her, she is just a comedian. I swear. That's when I learned. Is. That's when I learned. Lex is really just a turn up girl. Yeah, like, she and she don't. I think what it is is Lex don't care about what people think yeah, about. I love yeah, her. I that's what it really is. Oh, the next bitch we gonna do. It's a bad bitch. Oh. With some bomb ass pussy, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <No. laughs> so the next person we are going to do is Kiana. Kiana is literally. I feel like on the outside might think like she's rough and tough and all this stuff but I feel like she is such a sweetheart mm -hmm. like no like unexpectedly a sweetheart like when you first like see her maybe I think we met her in the two house you probably maybe met her before I met her in the two house. house yeah and at first when I first seen her in there and I'm like dang she's probably like one of the 
She mean as fuck. Yeah. Like, she can't even wear her glasses on. I'm like, yeah. all right, bitch, don't shit on up. We ended up having a conversation with Tube House. Um, and she is just so sweet, like really sweet. Like obviously she is about her work, Big. about her bag, about mm -hmm. her everything, but she's still a sweetheart. I love that she has like that sense of style. Like mm -hmm. all her pictures she reposts and like I love her sense of style. And she's just really she's real. Yeah. Yes. Like, one of the girls that's really real. Like you're not I don't think you really get fake from her. You get mm -hmm. like real from her. So mm -hmm. um I'm trying to collect myself with Kiana because I feel like it's so much. Kiana, yeah, it is so much because I, I I feel like out of everybody we talked about so far, Kiana's probably like the closest that I you know that I know. Well, I, aside from Lex, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I see I, for some reason Kiana reminds me a lot of myself in a lot of ways, like my younger self. Um, because you know, first of all, she's beautiful. She's dark skinned like, yeah. and she's fine. So it's like a lot of her characteristics remind me of yeah. me and you know I respect her so much because she works so freaking hard and us you know she's also like a sweet girl like Ali said like her, being around her is a pleasure honestly um she don't give off no bad vibes she keeps it real she keeps it 100 and like I said she represents for us dark skin girls she really well. puts on for us very very well and I respect that about her as well so yeah I love Kiana she always makes me feel welcome always like checking up on me like when I was going through things just a sweetheart just all around so yes and I want to say this too I feel like the reason why we have these type of relationships with people is because of who we are because it's not a one-way street yeah. the same way these these people will check up on us the same way that we do it yeah, as well. Exactly. So it's just a blessing to have that two-way type of friendship yeah. or relationships with people. But let me talk about Kiana. I think what it is is you will look at a girl like Kiana, bad bitch on her shit, and think she's just one of them girls that just be like, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't, I don't help other people. Oh, she definitely helps. And it's the total opposite, y'all. For real. I feel like the the biggest misconception just about my friend is that she's just some mean girl. Yeah. And the reality is she is far. From. I think they misconstrued me with like she has a solid demeanor. Yes, like, she's just a solid ass, yeah. and that's what it is. And y'all, y'all really get that mixed up in the YouTube world because it's like y'all think YouTube is supposed to be fun and just goofy all the time, and it's just nuts. It's just yeah. you're gonna find solid bitches like like her, and that's, that's just, just what it is. is. Period. Also, too, like as far as her being humble and like helping everybody, she really does. Cause I remember Kiana was actually one of my first collabs aside from Fruit. Kiana was actually like one of my first big collabs. She was willing to work. We had the same project manager, and she was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I work with them." I'm just like, "Wow!" Like. For her to do that and she had all these hundreds of thousands of thousands of subscribers mm -hmm. and I, we was down here so it's like for her to do that it was like you don't really see that in the youtube right. world a lot of people not gonna do that yeah we was in the tube house we did a, a fighting video for her it was a challenge our manager had did and she had said whoever can create the best prank right now i'm giving a hundred dollars so i'm getting everybody together i'm like what we gonna do we do i got poppy with me da, da, da. we did the prank with kiana so after we did it it was just like a it was just like a little challenge but now someone's just like well I won't post this if you're comfortable. She was like, what the hell are you talking about? Post that video, make your money. I'm like, okay. like, and it, I feel like it is like that because once again, y'all have to understand this industry is so wicked. Some people do not play about their name. They're very selective on who they work with and rightfully so though. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna let y'all know that yeah. too. You have to be choosy. You do. Sure. You do. Cause it's you your do. brand. It's your brand. And Kiana's big on her brand. She, she is. is not gonna play about that. Yeah, she's not. But it was just a blessing to have that. And then too, another thing just about Kiana is, is I feel like a lot of times people feel like me and Kiana were not close because y'all and see us together because like when we do work we go hard but then we'll take a break because once again she has her own platform i have my own platform we can't merge the two and make it about us too but when i went through my whole baby situation outside of these two girls and a couple of other people kiana was the main one sending me hella paragraphs checking on me like she was really sending some powerful messages and it's just a blessing to have people once again like that and overall she's just a bad bitch and if you ever want to talk to somebody Go to Kiana, because I promise you it's this shit that I done told her that ain't never got Came that out. Yeah. Ain't never. I, I, she like a diary, bitch. <laughs> She's really like a diary. With a lock and key. With okay. a lock and key. So, shout out to my sissy. Love you. And just continue to be your authentic self and keep climbing these motherfucking yeah. charts, bitch. Keep being a bad yeah, bitch. bitch. Keep being a bad bitch. So, <laughs> oh, the next bitch is a bomb ass bitch. One of the realest bitches, too, that I met in the industry outside of the bitches that y'all see me with. Mother freaking Chris Shay. Yes. Woo. Uh, oh my god, I love her. So let me just tell y'all something about Crochet. Crochet is the girl that you say, hey, can you send me five dollars? She decides to probably send you a thousand. She doesn't just deliver, she, she goes above mind. and beyond, y'all. Like anything I have ever needed her for, it was always I got you. When you need me, what time? Yes, like, always on time. Always. Like I feel like what it is is she's such a good person and she has such a good demeanor 
that her not being successful would never not be a thing. Yeah. She's meant to be a star. She is she a star. Is. And she does her cooking. She does her own platform. And not only does she does that, she helps with other people's stuff. Like when I did my baddies casting call her recently one, she was telling people to come. Always shouting out my stuff, always making videos about my stuff. Like she's a real humble spirit. Like I'm sorry, but Crochet is honestly that bitch. Like yeah, here. She and she can cook her ass off. Oh, she is. I don't have her cooking before. Girl, that's why I got pregnant. Oh <laughs> yeah, she did. You said that. Ah, but I love you, Crochet, baby. Continue to yes. be yourself because you honestly is a bomb ass bitch. You put on for the BBWs. Damn, yes, I was gonna say that. Yeah. You're really that girl. I'm sorry. She definitely put on for that. Well, I only met her once and she's just so like happy. I feel like and bubbly and smiling and she has like energy that like attracts you to her like even if you were in the room like you would want to go talk to her but and i also love like i love hardworking women and she seems so hardworking. i mean it's not even the same she is because you see it everywhere on the, her platforms and everything like she works hard and i like i just feel like she don't make excuses for things you know like she just gets it done and she really works as in like networking and being there like you said for people and I feel like that's really important, especially in this industry. Like somebody, they know, like you're there for me. I'm yeah. For we don't even know each other that deep yet, but I know that we have an understanding. Like we're there for each other. Mm -hmm. She just seems very sweet and very, very, very nice, humble, like you said. Yes, very, very humble. Period. Um, I love Crochet. Like she's another one that has been checking on me all the time, telling me like, I love you. You got this. You're gonna be good. You know. She's so sweet. Like, she's the sweetest soul. And I've always had good conversations with her. Like, I've done her hair before. She's been on my um, talk show, The Love Experience. And the conversation is always so good. As far as her work ethic, this girl is in the lane of her own. Like, I'm sorry. Period. She has made her mark in the YouTube world. And there ain't nobody that can touch that. Period. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. she like she said, she represents for the BBWs, bitch. And I ain't seen a BBW yet that has matched her energy. Yeah, period. Yeah. So, like, I definitely am a supporter of Crochet. And um, like I said, she shared a lot with me within the times that we've talked. And like, I really love her. Really, really genuinely love that girl. Oh, this video cool. So we might just do a part two of this, but. um, Okay, you guys, so the camera has died, but we have a special guest, the celebrity out of everybody, really the blue eyes for the Beyonce, the head, the main, Miss Koa. Wait, the camera coming? Can I get away? <laughs> <laughs> so we have this call. So the last person we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep it real PG-13 right now because my niece is right here, but it's so hard because I'm talking about the most realest ever. <laughs> I need to, I have to save the best for last, y'all. Hood oh. brat mother freaking Holly. Holly! Holly, baby. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember when I had, I was dared to be a stripper for 24 hours. The first thing that I was recommended to reach out to was Hood Rat Holly, y'all. Hood Rat Holly is one of the most humblest, spirits I have met. She don't care about putting no girl on to a bag, helping a girl out, giving any recommendations, giving tips. Like when I went to become a stripper, not only did she get me into a club, but she went up to the club and make sure I was straight the entire night down here. Mm -hmm. Told me, go over there, dance with them. They got the most money. Let me take you over there. Took me and my friend over there, was helping them throw money on us. Like one of the most humbling spirits, she don't, she speaks her mind. She's an air sign. She's a big Aquarius and y'all know I love Aquarius and y'all, I just feel like the thing about Holly is she's very blunt. Oh yes, I love that about her. Like she do not care. She's gonna say how she feel and if you do not like it, oh freaking well. I love that about her, but it's just nice to have people that you know gonna ride. You know gonna be there, you know you can talk to. Like if I need anything, I know I can probably call Holly and she be right there to answer that call. What you need friend, what's going on? Like when my dude passed away, I'm at Princess House crying in the bed. I'm calling her, did you hear about something? I do remember that. Yeah. Like Holly's a real stand up girl, y'all. Do not let these videos fool you. Don't don't get in these comment sections thinking y'all know about this girl because y'all really don't because there's so many deep layers and she's talented as fuck. She's pretty as ever. Sorry. Representing the dark skin girls. Okay. Yeah. And baby, she is naturally thick. If you've seen her mama, then you know. You no, know, you know. No, no. Okay. Oh, let's, oh, I never met her. Maybe one day. Period. When I first met Holly, I knew we was going to get along. Because first of all, that's a real ass, thorough ass bitch. Y'all know I love me some real bitches. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. Calm down, she don't Holly remind me of like one of my hood ass cousins. Like my cousins from New Orleans, they speak their mind. Mm -hmm. And Holly gonna always say what you thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's one thing to be real, but I feel like Holly takes real to a whole nother level. Whole nother she level. don't care, she is blunt and she will say it to you and don't she don't care about no consequences because she know ain't no bitch gonna touch up here. That's what it is. Like, like it's very like bold and in your face. And, and what you gonna do about it? Yeah, what you gonna do about it, babe? Mm -hmm. Period. But I love her. She definitely represents for the dark skin girls. And I, from what I can see, she's definitely a boss, babe. She's a boss, boss. talented chick. 
she got her own you know show going on and um i think she got a club dude she got a club or something i think her open i'm telling what what i'm you can't keep up and she's so life. humble about it like that's the thing i love like bitches who are humble about their their blessings and what they have like mm -hmm. she don't brag mm -hmm. if you see it you see it. if you don't you don't if you don't you just miss it out but she knows it's gonna get solid and the crazy part yeah. is bro her show is on her own network let's talk about it mm -hmm. see i didn't even know that yeah she she honestly one thing about how you can't even keep up with her because her moves is always moving moving mm -hmm. elevated 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 like she said if you catch it you catch it if you don't you don't but i promise you the next time you see holly she won't be in the same position that you met her mm -hmm. and that's yeah. fact always elevating man. always elevating and like she said she's represented for the dark skin girls represented for the big mm -hmm. girls she put it on she always give the girlies tips she speak her mind and i just feel like it's so like she said it's just having like that brought or die cousin like you yeah know that die cousin I ain't gonna play yeah, like yeah i feel like with youtube though i feel like uh, youtube just don't doesn't it's not ready for girls like her y'all really put a put y'all are very sensitive and y'all really put like a standard on who who can be who and like, what is a, a true influencer yeah how what is a real influencer? whenever you get a, a solid thorough chick like her y'all tense up it's like y'all can't take it especially mm -hmm. i'm sorry i gotta go back especially when they dark skin it's something mm -hmm. about the dark skin girl that y'all just it, it it ruffles y'all feathers mm -hmm. like y'all don't say nothing about um what's her name krishan y'all be rooting for her ah! and we love krishan baby we and love i love krishan yeah, but yeah. if krishan rock was a dark skin girl y'all would call her abusive y'all would yep. call her dumb y'all would call her slow y'all would call her and anything. i been saying some people say that but for the most part krishan get a lot of support she get a lot of support yeah. though. she get more support than what a dark skin woman would if they were in that position like, let's be real let's just speak on so it so i just re i really respect everybody who represents us mm -hmm. in every way shape or form that they can mm -hmm. like different personalities yeah. sizes shades whatever the case may be just being their authentic self mm -hmm. and the crazy part is what irritates me about that is a lot of people i notice be from the hood watching youtube and so it's like yeah. why don't y'all care to see the girls that y'all have been around yeah like why don't y'all want to see the girl make it? It's like it's almost be like on some competition hate and stuff. Like y'all can't, y'all don't like seeing the girl that could be possibly next door to you elevating and doing more. Cause y'all feel like she was always just supposed to be in the hood or like, not amount yeah. to nothing more. Like, huh? And just because you got that mentality is the main reason why God continues to bless these people. Because baby, he'll make a he'll make a he'll make a fool out of a doubter. Okay. A big fool. Yeah. So, but listen, you guys, that's going to be the end of this video. That's pretty much all the names that y'all sent in. Some of the other girls that y'all have sent in, I pretty much don't know just yet. So I can't give my honest review on them. But I wanted this video to really, I know y'all probably thought this was going to be some, some messy drama stuff, but that's none of that. I love to give, I love to speak life. I love to speak positivity on anybody because honestly, people go through their hard days. You don't know what people are battling behind yeah. closed doors. So it's just good and refreshing to get some fun and nice content back on YouTube. Like, we missed that. So, I wanted to bring you guys that. I wanted to do it with my girls and my niece in the back getting drunk off that milk. <laughs> so, if y'all wanna see us do a part two, let me know. We can also do rating, we can do smash or pass. We can do a lot, just let us know. Yeah. Comments down below, yeah. because best believe, TCG, I'm trying to go. And when I get up, up off this okay. flow, I'm gonna walk through that what? That motherfucking dog. No. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm ready to go. <laughs>